Hey there miniature painting fans, I hope you're having a good day because I'm going to be painting a hate miniature. This is another mercenary who's been interestingly slap chopped actually. I went with a different kind of slap chop on this and I'm going to be using Speed Paints 2.0. Now to come back to the slap chop, what I actually did was instead of using grays and whites, I used a brown and a beige and then a white. So I used the Game Master Collection, okay, they have like a dark brown for their uh, cavern set and then they have uh, like a lighter brown and a beige, kind of like a skeleton bone color. So what I did is I did the black primer and then I used a very heavy dry brush of the darker brown color. And then I went with the beige, but I found it was a little, still a little too dark and not enough highlights with those two. So then I ended up taking uh, the white and just going very gently over all the raised edges as much as possible. And it still kept some of that brown underneath. So it really gives a huge highlight tone for this big miniature. And as you can see, I'm starting off with a speed paint from the new speed paints, Warrior Skin. Uh, now, it was a bit lighter on the bottle. And again, I haven't painted the bottle caps like everyone else has done to see what they actually do. I like to be a little surprised too with my paints. Sometimes I'm like, oh, okay, that's not exactly what I want it to be. But you know what? I'm going with it and I'm going to work with it. And as you can see, this warrior skin really has a nice tan to it, uh, really darkens down the skin. So I'm glad the Army Painter came out with some different skin tones now in their speed paints. Uh, that is great. And it does amazing with this slap chop method as well. Ochre clay now. So this is like this weirdish, greenish, yellowish, uh, I don't know, weird color. And great for these tentacles. I mean, he's got some tentacles growing out of him and his weird looking little head. So I decided to paint that in that and with that grisaille effect, wow, just amazing. Like the highlights are just done for you. Dusk red now, I'm gonna be doing this on his beard and his hair. Now it does mesh into the skin a bit more, but that's okay, you know, he's got very grimy, dirty hair. Uh, he's got very dark skin. I mean, the artwork, every single one of these hate mercenaries has the most pale skin possible. Now, I found it a bit weird in a post-apocalyptic world, I guess, because the sun doesn't get through the clouds somehow. They don't get tanned. Because even in Mad Max, I remember everybody was like, white. I don't know if it's just they put like stuff on to protect them. Maybe it's sunscreen. <laughs> Anyways, the next color we're using is Murder Scene. This is on the bottle it shows like a reddish purple um and so i'm using this on some of the cloths that he has he doesn't have much cloth by the way he's got a bare butt and he's got a little bit of a thorn cloth and then i put it on his like wristband here or his wrist cloth or whatever it is on his foot there he's got like a bit of a bandage on it i put it on there and it it is very subtle the color because of the darker brown underneath i think if this was like on a brighter miniature with this color somewhere else i think it would be really cool uh, we're coming back to the speed paint metallics now, the broadsword silver. To be honest, it doesn't seem to do very much. You see the shine come through, but with the uh, slap chop here, and I think I used this, yeah, I used this on some other miniatures I when I tested the speed paints there on those uh, orcs, but I also used it on a uh, Athenatoi from um, Conquest. And you saw it more because it was bigger areas. When it's small pieces, I find that the shine doesn't come through as much and it just really brightens everything. However, the Talus Bronze really shows that slap chop behind it. Like, it's kind of cool how it really still looks gritty. Uh, you know, and there's some little pieces here and there on this guy everywhere. And if you haven't played Hate, by the way, it's almost like a game of chess. All right, it's really awesome, great strategy game. Uh, I don't think enough people play this game. The miniatures are beyond amazing. Like, Simon really brought it when they made this game too. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with Simon games. You can go wrong with a lot of other games companies out there with their miniatures and Kickstarters for answer. I'm not even gonna get into that. I know you guys know all about what's going on with certain Kickstarters out there, so I'll let you look up that. I won't get into that right now. So this Talus Bronze again, great. Bony Matter, okay. Now, I did use this on those other small miniatures, on the white and the skeleton bone, it was pretty good. On the other kinds of slapshot, like on this one specifically, okay, because there's a lot of highlighting going on. I found when it dried, it almost didn't even show anything. It was still white-ish. So maybe a second coating would have helped. 
uh but i'm not 100 percent sure like on on the sta on the, the handle here it looks really cool but i found on all the faces and the skulls and the bones it didn't do much anyways there you have it folks troll the mercenary is painted and ready for the table i hope you're enjoying these hate videos i hope you enjoy all my miniature painting videos go take a look at them all please hit that subscribe button join the discord channel if you want and we'll see you all in the next one